low class is March 16th, and we're going to start another week of online classes and assignments. But I want to take a few minutes to talk with you first about the coronavirus outbreak. It's your social responsibility to keep your distance from other people to try to minimize the transmission of this virus, and that's vitally important for the safety of everyone around you. The coronavirus is coming, and it's going to come very fast. It's going to come at an exponential speed. And what that means is that right now, it's quite gradual. It seems calm in your neighborhood, but in two to four weeks, it's likely to be most everywhere around you. When it does come, the healthcare system in your neighborhood is likely to be overwhelmed. Patients are gonna be triaged for care. The most vulnerable people in society, potentially your grandparents, the elderly, the compromised, they're gonna be treated at hospitals that are overwhelmed that won't be able to give them the best care that they can. The only way that we can lessen this is by social distancing today. And that means you, that means that you keep your distance from your friends, stop kissing, hugging, touching your friends, keep three to six feet apart, stay away from people who are ill, stay at home if possible, starting today. Especially avoid contact with your close family members who are elderly, your grandparents, your elderly aunts and uncles, elderly neighbors, and so on. An excellent source for risk assessment of the coronavirus was presented by Thomas Puyo down at the link below, and please go to it and read that. Two weeks ago, we talked about the COVID-19 morbidity, and you know already that the elderly are the most at risk. You are a person who is a teenager or uh, early 20s, and you have low physical risk, but you represent high social risk because your mobility allows you to potentially infect people who are 60, 70, 80 plus years of age. And then you can see from the plot below that those are the people who have the high fatality numbers uh, coming out of the data set as of today. You also know from the discussion we had in class that comorbidity is an important aspect in terms of fatalities, that people who have cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease, and so on, that these are people who are more prone to having severe conditions or fatal conditions from the COVID-19 virus. So please do your best to distance yourself from people who are elderly and particularly people who are compromised. To stop the spread of the germs, you need to keep your distance from other people, not just if you're sick, not just if they're sick, but I think from this point on, you should stop touching being close to other people around you. Cover your cough and or sneeze with the tissue and then throw that tissue away avoid touching your eyes your nose your mouth because that's the pathway for the covid virus to enter your body clean and disinfect surfaces stay at home when you're sick but now given the conditions uh, in your community you might want to stay at home as much as possible except for going out for essentials and to receive medical care Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. The symptoms for coronavirus 19 are as follows. Fever, dry cough, shortness of breath. If you have any of those conditions, contact your doctor. An excellent source of information for you on the spread of the COVID-19 virus around the globe can be found at the John Hopkins University public health website. Here you can see as of March 16th, there's 7,000 confirmed fatalities from the virus. And we know that those 7,000 fatalities, if there's a 1% morbidity on average from this virus, represents 700,000 infections occurring approximately seven to 18 days ago. So today, the likely population of infected individuals is larger than that probably somewhere in the range of 1.5 to 3 million people and rising. You've heard a lot of the news about flattening the curve. What does that mean? It means that if we have a steep infection curve, it results in an overwhelmed healthcare delivery system. People are underserved in hospitals. 
fatalities increased due to the lack of care and available equipment, and also from hospital workers and healthcare uh, people getting ill by exposure to you. So flattening the curve means lowering the amount of infections to a rate that is manageable by the capacity of that healthcare delivery system. The way that we can flatten the curve is by you socially distancing. So this is vitally important for you in the next several months. The only way that we can prevent a healthcare delivery crisis is by socially distancing today. That means you should keep away from your friends physically. You should stop kissing, hugging, touching your friends. Keep three to six feet apart from each other. If you feel unwell, stay away from people and call your doctor. Stay at home if possible through the next several weeks or even months, starting today. And avoid interacting closely with vulnerable populations, the elderly, and in particular, your grandparents, elderly family members, and neighbors. Your social responsibility is vitally important for the safety of you and the people around you. So please be a good citizen, practice social responsibility, and I wish you all the best. We'll start lecture in a minute.